Okay, students. Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, prove or show that the entire log here, that is log AB equals to log BC equals to log AC, this entire log is as a A equals to B plus C. So we're going to take this, we're going to show into this. Understand? Okay, let us move on to the showing part. Okay, since all this log is the same value, so I'm going to give a, a represent value for you. For example, okay, class, for your understanding class, this question maybe have a different uh, type of solution. We have few types of solution. Some teachers can prove with a different idea. Okay, the idea that I'm going to give you is a suggestion answer. So you try to understand first. Maybe you can uh, combine with the idea from your teacher. Okay, so let us move on. Huh? So what I'm going to do here, since everything is the same, so I'm going to get like this log. A, B, log B, C, and log C, A. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to represent the entire log here, the entire log, since everything's the same, right? So I'm going to represent as, okay, you can put as X, no problem. That means each and every log here is re equals to the X. This also equals to X. And this also, everything is equals to X, understand? Okay, so since everything is equal, right? So we can and put it this way. So first thing I'm going to break this one first. Log AB equals to X. Okay, hope that you understand how to change log to indices and indices to log. Okay, for example, let's say I give you an example first. AB equals to C. Okay, this is the indices, right? This is the indices. How to change to log? You just have to switch these two things. So when you switch, the base will remain as a base. You know, the base will remain. You cannot disturb the base. So the base here is going to be log A. You see the base is still remain. Only the B and C will change the place. So this is the idea. Understand? This is how you change the base. Okay, let's say I give you a log with the uh, X, Y equals to Z. Okay, same idea again. I want to change the log into indices. The same thing, don't disturb the base. This is the base. Don't disturb the base. Just exchange these two places. So that means you're going to get X, Z equals to Y. Understand? Okay, so same thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to switch this thing. It's going to be A, A, X equals to B. Got it? Okay, done. Okay, hope that you understand huh, how to switch that one. So you have to be master in changing log to indices and indices to log. Understand, class? Huh? Please. Okay, another thing here. We have log log b c equals to x right okay now so what i'm going to do here again i'm going to switch that means it's going to be uh, b x equals to c right okay what is your b here you can take this uh, value you can substitute inside here can right so b is a a power x so that means this whole thing going to be a power x, again x equals to c. That means your a x square going to be c. Okay, so we still cannot solve the, what's the value of x? We still cannot solve the value of x, understand? Why we cannot solve? Because the base is not equal, right? The base is not equal. See, here also the base is not equal, still not equal. So if the base is not equal means you cannot get the value of x. So never mind, we keep on doing. So we have another one more log here is log C A is equals to X. Okay, so again, I'm going to do C X equals to A. So what's your C? C is already here, right? Can you see a C here? You can substitute inside here. Okay, you can substitute inside here. Your C is going to be A with the X square. Outside still got X with the A. So now your, your answer is like this. A X cube equals to A. Now we can solve ready class. You know why? You see the both side, we already have the same base. You see the base is here A and here also A, right? So since the base is A, the power here is one. So at this level, you can get the value of X. So X cube equals to one and your X is one, right? Done. Okay, got it. So we know already the X is one. So since your X is one, huh? since you already, you already know the X is one. So in this case now, so if your x is one means what happened to this value? So here is going to be a, x is power one equals to b. So power one, we won't need to write. Understand? And here also same. 
Here also same. So what are you going to do? So you're going to get uh, uh, x square here is uh, one square. One square is still one, right? So a power one is equals to c. So a is equals to c. So once you get all this, so we can prove that. We can show that. So you don't need to put this one. So A equals to B and A equals to C. That means your A equals to B equals to C is shown. Understand? This is another suggestion answer for you. Okay, got it? So first, I'm using this idea. I, I just equals all the entire log with one value, which is X. So first, I take this one equals to the X. Okay, so this, this is the first part here. You can see, right? Okay. So I solve it. I change the log into indices, but I cannot still I cannot solve the value of x because the base is not equal. See, the a and the b is not equal, so I cannot do anything. So I move on to the next log. I take this log now equals to the x. Okay. So I get a square. So I get this one. Uh, b power x equals to c. So I already substitute the b with the value that I already managed to get from the first equation here. So after that, I get a x, uh, sorry, a x square equals to c. Still cannot solve because a and c is the same, different base. So I go on, proceed. I still proceed for next one. So I get this. Okay. So I get until here. So until here, we already managed to solve the equation already because the base is already equal. Once the base is equal, the indices can be equal. You can make it them equal. You can take out them separately. So x cube equals to 1, x equals to x cube equals to 1 and your x is going to be 1. Okay, this is the one we proved. So once you know your x 1, so here you can substitute your x with the 1. So you're going to get a equals to b. Here you substitute x with the 1. So a equals to c. So that means your final answer is a equals to b equals to c. Understand? Okay, so hope that you understand this uh, explanation. Thank you class. See you in the next video.